Marry me, YouTubers. Oh, I think you moved. This is Lady Grave Dancer, and I'm here to do a video. I have I was asked to do this video such a long time ago, and I kept promising to do and promising to do it. But I wanted to I wanted it to be a part of the witch's view, but I could never seem to get the witches together. To I mean, it's been just a crazy time, and I know that. So I'm here and discuss the way I feel about opinions and express my opinions of it and hopefully um, which is you and we can pick it up later on um, it was asked about working with the dead and there was a few questions with it one was uh, working with the dead will it make you stronger working with the dead is not advice for new people in the practice and is it true that you have to work with the dead when you are practicing witchcraft I believe those were the questions that were asked this was such a long time ago I feel so horrible but I'm gonna um, just go over how I feel about it so as far as see it's and the question was working with the dead not just working with say ancestors are working with um, certain spirits or things like that it was just in general working with the dead so it it's kind of that's why I wanted the topic to be part of the witch's view so we can kind of go over all those aspects but and like I said, we'll probably pick it up later and do it. But right now, I'm just going to kind of go over what I can. Um, as far as being someone who practices witchcraft, do you have to work with the dead? Um, my opinion with that is no. And the reason I say no is because you don't have to incorporate them into your practices. Now, it it's kind of difficult with that because within my household, there are... A few of us whose spirits are just drawn to us and are constantly around but do we pull them into our magical practices no not always and I don't believe that you have to so my opinion on that one is no you don't have to um, the other question was does it make your magical practice stronger if you do work with the dead now on that I don't know if you would call it stronger in general, but I do think that it adds to it. So if you called on, let's say, an ancestor, like for instance, my great-grandmother who did practice witchcraft, if I called on her to help me with a the spell, then of course it would be stronger itself. Does it make your practice stronger in general? No, it's, it's not as if you are employing um, spirits to work within your practice, making it bigger and stronger. It's not like that. It, but if you do... Of course, it would just be like if I had other witches here doing this topic, the topic would be expressed stronger because there's more of us here. So I guess that's one of those yes and no answers to where if you one time called on a spirit to help you with a spell and the spell was stronger, but then they're not part of your practice ever again, then would your practice be stronger? No, but if you did call them in for spell works, and yes, I do believe that your spells and rituals and things like that would be stronger when you call on help from anybody, not just the dead, so... That's how I feel about that. Um, and the other question was, because they were told, being new into the practice, that they should not work with the dead. And I disagree with that because, again, you can call on your ancestors, and there's nothing wrong with that. You do want to take precautions with opening up and closing things, of course. You want to do your homework with things like that because when you open up an area... See, that's why I wanted more people to discuss this topic. Because when you open up more areas to bring in your spirits and you're opening up also for other things to come in. So you want to make sure you take precautions with the opening and closing of things. But being new to the practice doesn't mean you don't can't work with the dead. I, I think that's kind of crazy for someone to say that to this particular person. Because why would I not want to call on my great-grandmother to help me with a spell if I just started practicing? And why would I not want to call on say my father who's passed away to help me with the protection on my house or you know some people call people guardian angels or, or your spirit guides or things like this these could also be considered 
um, people who have passed over. There's no dead set proof anywhere other people have many uh, opinions on what your spirit guides are. I do believe the spirit guides are people who have passed on. So as far as being new in the practice and them telling you you can't work with the dead, I disagree. I just think that you need to be careful when doing so. But absolutely, if you have, you know, a nana that's passed on or a parent that's passed on and you need help with something, and the newer people, if you're watching this channel and you want to call on someone to help you with more protection, more energy or whatever, then I wouldn't hesitate to do it. Just, you know, understand that when you're opening portals like that, if that's what you call them, you're also opening up for other things. So you got to make it very clear, very verbal with what you're saying whenever you are calling someone to help you. And um, make sure that you close it up when you're done. And you should be fine. I do have to say one good thing about the newer people in the craft uh, that I've noticed is that they are very, uh, most of them anyway, are very cautious use, using a lot of cleansing items and, and things like quartz and, and sage and, and palo santo or, or cigars, things like that. So I do have to say if you're overly cautious, it's a good thing. Because sometimes when you've been doing it for a while, you might just think, oh, you don't need it no more. But I do want to add when working with the dead, just like if you were working with a person, like if I had one of you here working with me on spell work or anything like that, I would treat you with as much respect as you know, I would, anybody else, you want to do that same thing for the dead. You want to thank them and um, leave them offerings and just go with what you know us feel right and just have common courtesy for them as if they were a human being still here in full flesh. You, you don't want to take them for granted. You don't want to be rude, you know, just just you know have manners just generally have manners when you're doing so and these are my opinions and again it, it was a hard topic to do without touching a lot of other areas and i still want to do as part of the witch's view because like i said it would depend on if you're working with um ancestors from way back when if you just had a parent that passed away that's who you're working with or if you're just generally just calling on random spirits to help you if you're calling on you know, um other spirits and other practices to help you depending on what you're doing it all varies so that was a hard topic to cover but I just kind of did the basics um, I wouldn't think that someone was new in the practice would want to call on you know you come into let, let's say how can I say this without sounding so like if you just start it okay and I think even the people who just started underestimate themselves and some of the people who've been practicing for you know years and years and years don't give them enough credit so I, I have learned so much from new people coming into the practice and they they've made me see things that I hadn't seen before and it gives me a refreshing feeling into my practice because I see how excited and how much they want to soak up the knowledge and it, it refreshes me that's why I love to meet new people and it's people who are newer to the practice or who have come back and and to see that excitement in their eyes and and how they talk and everything and just it brings back something in myself so i don't want you to think i'm for the newer people watching this and i'm putting you down or anything or telling you what not to do i'm just saying if you come in and you're new and you came in and let's say wicca because that's usually where people start at so i'm just going to use that and um you want to call on someone that who practices hoodoo would call in or someone who practices Santeria would call on. I wouldn't go there just for safety reasons and the lack of knowledge could show a lack of respect for those areas of practice because you got to be very respectful in the practice when you're working with spirits and things like that. So, uh, But if you're coming in and you want to call on an ancestor you know, or something like that, then I would say absolutely. But those are just my opinions and I wanted to add that. If you have any questions about this topic, and again, you know who you are who asked to do this video, I'm still going to do it with a few other witches and touch several other topics, which will make the, it's going to make the video quite long because this is a very, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a very awesome topic and it, it can cover lots of bases. And I just need to get a few witches together so we can do the witches view to do it. If I can't get them together here, then maybe I could do some kind of hangout and have a few other people. So 
if there's anybody who's interested in that, let me know and we can like set up a time and do it so I can get this discussion going and move on to the next topic that's been asked of me to do. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. You can find me on Facebook. I do answer my messages there. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. All right, I guess I'll see you guys at the next video. And as always, blessed be. Bye.